Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 94 of... What's this? Uh, 94 of Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, right now, what I'm trying to do in the, uh, is to do the um, main mission where we talk to Takemura. So we need to meet with Takamura. Uh, in the last episode, I was showing how crafting was working, or try, or not showing, but I was myself trying to understand this. So I've, I've been working with iconic weapons. So iconic weapons, I finally made uh, the uh, Satori. The problem here is that to make the iconic weapon, we need the iconic weapon itself not just the parts, the iconic weapon. So it makes sense for us to maximize the quality of the weapon while it was still in its uh, epic state, similar to like the Guts, uh, the Guts uh, shotgun. Uh, we have increased it from uh, rare to epic. And so to make the legendary, we need to raise it from uh, from epic to its maximum because when we go to crafting the guts here it requires the epic version because it's an iconic weapon there's one and only so that's the only thing and if we do not maximize it to its peak at our current level to its current to our current level uh, then the legendary we get out of it is also low end so right now, uh, it is very, what do you call this? Uh, the crafting is very glitchy. I have catastrophic uh, failures constantly, so I'm not doing it. I will do it maybe towards the end of the game. Uh, these are epic only. Oh, this is, yeah, the Overwatch would be the same thing. We It requires this, unlike re the regular one, doesn't require any finished product. But this one is an iconic, so it's one and only. So that's the only thing that can be done. Okay, anyway, um, so that's just a uh, watch out for you guys when you are deciding on wanting to create uh, a, uh, what do you call this? A, what? Or planning to do a crafted uh, crafting a legendary item. Where are we going? Okay, we are here to meet with Takemura. Okay, let us check what our inventory is. We have that one, we have this one, and we have the guts. Okay. Uh, I am not using a Skippy right now. I am, because this one, look, the Satori is doing over a thousand points of damage. Can you believe that? Uh, and then this one is uh, 100 and th per bullet, so 103 to 125. And this one is massive pellets, right? The reason why I'm changing to this is that I uh, because we have on our what do you call this um, our arm cannon. The problem with the arm cannon, so it is not zeroed in. Look at this. If we are aiming at that box, where the look at where the actual hit comes in. It is to the side and is south southwest of where the uh, target aim is I I wonder if there is a way to adjust this okay uh huh so anyway we'll just use this oh we're Uh oh. Oh, there is another soul. Huh. 
So we are back in Japan Town, I think. Redwood Market. Oh, this is not Japan Town. Oh, we have been here. We have not cleared out this area yet, right? Yeah, there's still some missions here. Uh, assaults in progress. Okay. So our street creds are pretty good. We are at a hundred now. Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. To interrupt, but oh, perfect timing. Wait. There's no time to waste, B. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Okay, what do we want to do here? I think we can change our explosive arm. Right now, what we are doing is... No, uh, not, not this one. Okay, uh, we can change. Right now, what I had here are tranquilizer darts. We can change them into explosive rounds. Right? Or incendiary, if we want to. Explosive, I think, it always works, right? Okay, how come... B? Your Nobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values, and to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Kumindomo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. Experience real. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. What? The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. What sky? <laughs> All the skyscrapers have covered it. There's no time to waste, B. And how do you aim to do that? You're not shit crazy. In front of a crowd. What about security? You or... need not to worry. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place. Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound. Find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. And theft? Again, we? Me, meaning us? Right. Me? Us? Then one. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap. But the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Okay, sure. Take the shard. What? Where's the shard? Let us move on. Give me danger. Wow. What a chunky lady. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. 
But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. What? What's this? So she's zonked out. Look at her. Look at her. She's so zonked out. There's no time to waste, B. I think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At the work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Okay, what are we gonna do? Break in? Sex and Chrome. Fucking worked. Oh, we need to climb up. We cannot jump up. No, 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 we want to jump up. Jeez. Yeah. And? Done. System's ours. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that, I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Okay. I can do with yakitori. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog. Needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Yeah, let's eat the yakitori. Eat some more. Yeah, eat some more. Why? We gotta finish this. How about some uh, sashimi? No, eat some more <laughs> before we talk. Let's finish eating first. Yeah. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I can I can taste it almost. He's not on his A game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks. Look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako Sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help. You eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. This is Kentown. 
Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things are even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, <laughs> depart. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. Let him stray. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yori Nova. In the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. They surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And what's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order, they are united behind the Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato, support Michiko-sama, Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about them some other time. Uh, how about here? Uh... Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. <coughs> and yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Okay. Sure. Why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Okay, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. I uh, just heard our timer, so... Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. I will cut it exactly right after the black screen. Or I might cut it now. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!